going to talk to you about antibodies and some aspects that you maybe haven't thought about all that much. There are a lot of different antibodies out there with different properties. Do you choose a polyclonal with enough repertoire or a monoclonal? If you go for max specificity, this often translates to a reduced overall sensitivity. You can spend quite a bit of time and effort searching for just the right one. Maybe your first antibody gave a very clean and crisp band on a Western, but the new batch you just received shows multiple bands. Could it be the antibody? Maybe your first antibody works well in both Western and ELISA, and then the next works in Western, but not so well in ELISA. You could probably get it to work, but you would have to revalidate your assay. So you're kind of nervous every time your antibodies arrive. Will it work this time? What if you could just open the vial and know that it's going to perform the exact same way? What if you didn't have to revalidate? The traditional way of making antibodies is to immunize animals, wait for the animals to respond, collect the sera, and purify the antibody. But every animal is different, with a different immune response. There really is no guarantee that the next lot will be the same or behave the same way as the first one. That's just biology, really. What if we could move away from the animal system? This would give us a much better play in terms of consistency. Maybe you're close to publication. You worked so hard. Just one more experiment to go and then your paper will be done. And then you find out this antibody doesn't work as well as the last one. This could set you back weeks or even months. What if you could trust that you'll always have enough to complete your work, the same antibody and the same performance? So how are recombinant antibodies actually made? The Abfinity antibodies are made by first immunizing the animal with the target antigen. This way you get the natural repertoire with the diversity and the specificity that the natural immune response will bring out. But then we move away from the animal system. By cloning out the DNA that codes for the antibodies and expressing them in cultured cells, we can screen individual clones through multiple iterations and validations to find the best one, the one that has the optimal reactivity, affinity, and specificity. This clone is then scaled up for production. The clone is totally stable. This really is a leap forward in the evolution of antibody technology. You won't see any difference from lot to lot, and there's no need to immunize another animal to produce the next lot of your antibody. And that's got to be a good thing, especially for the animal. Remember the hassle with having to revalidate every batch you get? When you can produce antibodies from cloned monoclonals, this really makes a huge difference. Research is always evolving, and so are the research tools we use. The Abfinity recombinant antibodies set a new standard for specificity, sensitivity, and consistency. 